Yo, yo, yo. Today we're talking about big time math up in here, and we're looking at A to A. We're going to determine the domain and range of linear function in some mathematical problems. We're going to talk about domain and range values for world world situations, both continuous and discrete. But mainly this video is going to talk about continuous, yo. And we're going to be using this with inequalities, all right? So I'm going to show you how to find domain and range using inequalities. Now, today you had this assignment about domain and range, you know what I'm saying? And so this is kind of small, so I'm going to put this mug in one of my favorite tools up in here. It's called Desmos. So I've already went and preloaded this graph. So this graph is the exact same graph you had. It just looks a lot bigger and a lot cleaner, all right? So when you have Desmos, what's really cool about Desmos is you've got your settings, and in your settings you can do a lot of things And as far as helping you locate the domain and range. And so what I'm going to do right here is go up to the settings, and up in this mug, you see where it says x-axis? You can type this in, no lie, you know what I'm saying? You can type in x is domain, and then since I know x is domain, range is the y. All right, so y is the range, and so you type that in, and check this out, bam, it's right there on your graph for all your questions about domain and range, so I'll never forget that x is domain, and I'll never forget that y is the range, all right, and so that's really going to help me when I'm doing these problems. Now, remember, we're trying to focus on using inequalities, and so since we're going to use inequalities, Desmos is freaking amazing on helping us see this. And so we know X is domain because we already typed that mug on the graph, you know what I'm saying? So if I'm looking for the domain on this graph, I'm only going to look at the X axis. So let's see here. I'm going to highlight the X axis because those are the only numbers I should be looking at when I'm looking at the domain. So since X is domain, I'm only going to look at the numbers on the X axis and look, 5 starts on the left bam it hits the graph right there okay so like beyonce we go to the left to the left and we start right here and so i know one of the numbers i'm looking at is negative five and then bam look on the right side at the end of the graph is a three so i'm starting at negative five and i'm going all the way to three so my graph is between those two numbers and so how do i write that well since we're starting on the left with negative five we go to the right which is three and we're looking at only x values x goes in the middle now here's a cool hint it's all the numbers in between so in algebra one we're only going to use less than less than all right so so we got less than less than that's a solid circle so guess what yo solid line that's how you know how to do your inequalities solid circle solid line so now i know that my domain is all the numbers between negative five and three it's not just any numbers it's the x values okay so those values are between negative five check that out negative four negative three one two all those values are in between negative five and three and so bam i now have my domain now i'm going to erase this here all right chica, 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 and use my trusty tool and you can actually type in your answers into desmos to check it so i type in exactly what i see yo got negative five then there's even the inequality less than or equal to x and then it says less than or equal to three bam and if you look at that wow my graph is in the shaded area all the way to the left which is negative five all the way to the right which is three and if you notice my lines are solid just like my dots are solid so that's pretty cool and i could check my answer and i know that my answer is between negative five and three now if we want to check range i'm going to erase this x value right here now remember range is my y value so i should only be looking at the y axis all right so let me close this up right here go back here i think i'm gonna let's see look yeah there we go looking at the y is the range so I'm gonna highlight my y-axis and those are the only numbers I should be looking for when I'm looking at my range and so like Drake says started from the bottom so start at the bottom of negative 2 up to the top you know what I'm saying started from the bottom now I'm here and so my two numbers I got two stopping points so I've got two numbers in my answer on the range the lowest point goes to the left so that's negative 2 the highest point goes to the right which is positive 2 and since range is y we put y and algebra one remember it's always less than less than now how do we know if it's equal to well we just said a minute ago if that mug is solid then we got a solid line so solid circle check this out solid line we got a solid circle solid line bam that's pretty cool you know what i'm saying so i know that's any number for on the y-axis between negative two and two
See that? It could be 1, negative 1, 0, 1, 1 1.5. Any number between there is going to be part of my range. Okay? Remember, range, you're only looking at the y-axis. So I'm going to come in here my trusty tool and type in exactly what I see. Negative 2 is less than or equal to y, which is less than or equal to 2. And bam! Look at that. It only touches the y-axis at negative 2 and 2. And it shades all the numbers in between. And we said negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. It's all the numbers in between. So I'm going to erase these so you can see. It, my graph is between negative 2 and 2. You've got to get in the habit of seeing that range is y, so I'm only looking at the y-axis, and domain is x, so I'm only looking at the x-axis. Okay. So let's look at number 2. Number 2 here, like I said, it's a little bit small, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on your more of my Desmos and see if we can find the domain and range of this graph. And don't worry about what's on the left right now, just kind of focus on the graph here. And so I've got my solid circle on the left, my dotted circle on the right, and I'm looking at domain first. So domain we already know is x, and so I'm looking at only the x-axis. And so the first thing I'm going to do up in this mug is look at the furthest left, which is negative 3, bam! And then furthest right is 1. Two stopping points means I have two numbers, which means I have two inequalities. You see how this all plays out. So I've got negative 3 all the way to the 1. Domain is x. And so check this less than, less than, always. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. Solid circle means a solid line on the inequality. This has an open circle. Holy smokes. So that's going to be an open inequality. Therefore, that is my answer. It's as easy as 1, 2, 3, baby. You just count that mug and you got that. So let's check this answer out. We're going to go negative 3 is less than or equal to x, which is less than 1, and bam, holy moly, look at that. It took my whole graph and shaded it for me, and it's crossing only at the x-axis because x is domain. It's got my solid circle on the left, my dotted circle on the right, and look at my line. It's dotted on the right because that's a dotted circle. It's solid on the left because it's a solid circle and it's got a solid line. So I know my domain is absolutely beautiful and it mug is correct. So the question asks, it wants to find the domain and range. So let's look at the range. The Y is the range. And so I'm gonna highlight this axis right here. And then, like I said, Drake said, you gotta start from the bottom, then you're here. So, but I'm gonna start from the top. I'm gonna do the opposite of what Drake says. So we have two on top, but Drake says, you know what? Here's my negative three on the bottom. And so my graph is between negative 3 on the bottom, and my top number is a positive 2. Since it's range, we're only looking at the y values. Bam! And it's less than, less than, holy moly. And then, but look at this. It's an open circle, so I've got an open inequality. You don't draw a line under that, you know what I'm saying? Go up, solid circle, solid line for that inequality. So there's my answer. It's as easy as just looking at the two numbers that are on the y-axis, okay? Because y is range. Now remember, how can we check our answers? Just type that right into Desmos. So I'm going to go negative 3 is less than y, which is less than or equal to 2. And wow, look at that. My whole graph is shaded. And I'm going to erase this real quick so you can kind of see it better. It's in the shaded area. If you look at the bottom, it's got a solid or dotted line. And it's got a dotted circle. So that matches up. You look at the top, I've got a solid line. And I've got a solid circle. Therefore, that matches up pretty sweet, and so I know I've actually put this in correctly, all right? So my range is negative 3 to positive 2, and I'm only looking at the y-axis. So domain is always the x's, range is always the y's. Got that? Pretty, pretty cool. All right, we're going to check out one more here, all right? And I think it's number 3. Now this one talks about you know time and distance but again it's kind of small to see so what i'm gonna do is put this mug on a graph that is very easy for you to see okay so i blew this sucker up and we're going to do the same thing we're going to find domain and we're going to find range and we already have labeled x as domain so that tells me i'm only going to look at what the x-axis and i like to highlight that and i just highlight the x-axis and let's see where we're going to start with you always start to the left my furthest left is 0, woo! My furthest right is 4, and I can go up and see that it stops at 4. Now I'm only looking at the x-axis, so it's between what two numbers on the x-axis. I start on the left, which is 0, I go to the right, which is 4, oh yeah, and you always do the less than, less than. Now let's see, 
Over here on the left, I got a solid circle, so I got a solid line. And on the right, I got a solid circle, so I got a solid line. And so it's in between those two numbers, so we're good to go. All right. So that's pretty cool. All right. Now, let's check it out. Over here, we've got, check on our answer, 0 to 4. What? And it's in the shaded area. It worked out perfect. That's pretty cool, man. So I've got my 0 to negative or 0 to positive 4, and it worked. Now, if I put a 5, look at that. My shaded area goes beyond my graph. Therefore, it is not where I need it to be, okay? So I know that's a wrong answer. But if I go back and put a 4 right there, bam, I see that my graph is in the shaded area. So that's really, really cool. So I know I have my X and my domain, which is going to be correct, two solid lines, two solid circles, and my whole graph is in the shaded area. You got that? All right. So now let's look over here, and we're going to check the Y. I'm going to get rid of all of this real quick and look at the y-axis as we're looking here because the y-axis is my range and so on my range I've got my y-axis oh you can't see here so I'm gonna back this thing up and let's look at this I'm gonna hide that domain right there and then do my bottom which is zero wow that's pretty cool and then my top is 160 so this graph is really really big and so my range remember is my y so i got my zero to my 160 okay and it's always less than less than wow holy smokes and that's a solid circle so i got a solid line and then i've got a solid circle a solid line so my graph for my range is between zero and 160 all the way up there we go holy moly so it looks like i'm doing that correct but i'm going to check it don't forget to check it. You can easily check your answer. So I'm just typing exactly what you see. Zero, less than, or equal to Y, which is less than or equal to 160. And whoa, my graph is in the shaded area. And you go to the bottom, it starts on the bottom. You go to the top, it stops on the top. And remember, range is the Y axis. So I'm only looking at the Y values. And I know for show that I've got it between zero and 160. And I can show you my domain at the same time let's change the color how about blue or green and you'll see that my graph is in the double shaded area so it's in the correct range area and the correct x which is my domain area okay so folks i'm begging you that domain is the x don't forget that range is the y you can easily cancel out answer choices when it says domain and it gives you some y's cancel those out if it asks for range cancel out the x's and you can usually cancel out half your answer choices, okay? So that's pretty cool. But I'm going to show you one quick example here. This one I thought was pretty cool because in every example I just did before, you know what I'm saying? I had two stopping points. We had two inequalities. But look at this graph. It goes on forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. So if it goes on forever and it's got one stopping point, you know what that means. We're going to have one inequality in our answer. Two stopping points, two inequalities. One stopping point, one inequality. So let's look at domain. X is domain, so we automatically know that i got to look at the x-axis. And look, it starts right there on the left at 2. Okay, so I have to write an x, and I have to write the number 2. Okay, and I'm going to put an arrow right here so you can see that it goes on forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. And we don't want it to stop, or we don't want, we don't want it to stop because it's never going to stop. And if I put two on the left here, it kind of looks funky. So I'm going to show you how to write this correctly. One stopping point means you're going to sit here and go X. And then you look at the number. What number? X. Two. And since it's going to the right, it's all the numbers greater than two. It's because it's going to go to the right forever. And then it's a solid circle, so I've got a solid line. So my domain is all the numbers greater than two. How am going to check that? X is greater than 2, and bam! Look at that. It shades everything to the right. I can keep going on forever, and all that's shaded because all of that is included. So the domain is X is greater than 2, so it's any X value to the right. And because it has one stopping point, then guess what? I have one inequality. All right, and then we're going to quickly do right here the range. Range is the Y, and again, we still only have one stopping point, and so this is 7, and so I have my Y value, so I'm going to type in Y, and I'm going to, whoop, I just want you to see, I can keep going on, it's going to go on forever, so 
going to look right here. Let me see if I can make this a little bit easier. So range is Y. The Y value I'm looking for on the X axis is 7. I'm going to erase this here. So you can see that it's starting at 7. It's a closed circle, so it's included, equal to. And it's all the numbers greater than 7, so that means all the numbers going up. Let's check it. Y is greater than or equal to 7. Look at that. Bam! Everything on this graph is shaded, and I can keep going up. All that's going to be shaded forever, so I know I did this correctly. The thing about domain and range, you know you did it correctly if your graph is in the shaded area, folks. Okay? So please, 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 I'm begging you to check your answers on Desmos, because Desmos will show you, make it very easy to check your answers. And if you remember that domain is X and range is Y, you're never going to miss these problems, okay? Look at that. I showed you my domain and range. The graph is still in both shaded areas. Domain is X. Range is Y. Don't forget that, and you'll never have problems with these problems, all right? So good luck on your test. Whatever you do, peace.